A baby's name says so much, not just about who we are, but about the era we're living in. So while it's unlikely that there's a Tracy or a Gavin amongst this lot, there might well be a Mia or a Charlie. This is Princess and her newborn baby daughter. I decided to call her Aurelia. I think it's a, <laughs> it's a very pretty name. Yes. Um, it means golden. Wow. And I couldn't think of a better name to see the daughter of a princess. But what were last year's favourite names for newborns? Well, for the fifth year running, Amelia topped the list for girls, with more than 5,000 babies given that name. And the names Isla and Ava have seen a huge jump in popularity, with both soaring into the top ten. When it comes to boys' names, nearly 7,000 babies were named Oliver, top favourite for the third year running. Although in the West Midlands and London, Mohammed is now the top boy's name. And the names Noah and Oscar have jumped more than 40 places. But one in five go on to regret their choices. We do have members sometimes um, telling us that they have changed their babies' names after a month, six months, or even further on than that. Maybe because the name is common or because the name's unpronounceable sometimes. Or in some instances, for whatever reason, the child just doesn't fit the name. It's not a decision to take lightly. So this little beauty hasn't even got a name yet. Maybe she could be an Eliza? No, don't like that? Or an Eleanor? A Maya? So difficult. But what about this for a name? Arlo Michelangelo. Italians, Italians pronounce it slightly differently, so it'd be Allo Michelangelo Ziola. So it slightly rings slightly different in Italian, but... That is very cool. I mean, yeah. Michelangelo, that, that is quite a lot to live up to, that name, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. I've got the Star Wars theme running through the name, so uh, they're going to kill me for saying this, but I've got a daughter named Leah. Uh, I've got a son named Jake, but his middle name's Lucas. Uh, and Isabella is the next one in line with Ray from The Force Awakens. <laughs> we could have chosen worse names, I guess, like uh, <laughs> Chewbacca or uh, Yoda. And thank goodness you didn't. Ah, oh, look, it's a boy. Oh, no, it isn't. It's a girl. Whatever name you choose for them, make sure it's one that they can live with too. Ruth Liptrot, 5 News.